What up to my Trulies? I am Lee Wantalia, also known as Lee Yours Truly, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can be notified whenever I post another video and turn on your notifications so that you can be notified when I post the dang on video. But y'all, today I'm just gonna show you how I installed this quick unit. It is a five by five closure unit from Sealy Hair. I crimped it, I showed you the crimps that I used. I showed y'all all the good stuff in the video. So I am feeling this hair. I'm, I ain't gonna talk too much. I just wanted to pop in, say hey, and introduce what I'm about to do. So yeah, go ahead and stay tuned. Hey dolls, so I know you guys actually like when I show you what the hair looks like before, but I kind of lost the footage. My voice is gone, so excuse that. But yeah, this wig that I'm gonna be installing today is from Seedly Hair. And um, I cannot wait to show you guys what it looks like. So I already started the crimping process. I'm just using these porcelain ceramic crimps that I have had for like years and years. I don't even know where I got them from. But this is um, a five by five closure wig. And y'all know I love these wigs because they are so easy. So I saved the um, top part to do last so that you guys can see me do that. But all the links to this unit will be down in the description box. I absolutely love it. So we just gonna go step by step and um you know install this unit so go ahead keep on watching and make sure you guys like comment subscribe out because i'm pretty sure i said that at the beginning so keep on watching your girl and install this thing unit. <laughs> all right so y'all know first things first add your color powder or foundation to your stocking cap so you can really have that ball cap method and then apply that same color to the lace on your unit um, my head is pretty small, so I have to really stretch out the adjustable bands in the back and make them as tight as possible so this unit can fit snug. And this unit actually fit really, really good on my head, so I'm loving it. So next, I'm going to figure out how I'm going to lay this lace, and I'm using the Boho Liquid Gold. Y'all, I have literally been using this the for the last three months and this is the only adhesive that i use it comes off with water it lays exactly like you had lace glue and it melts the lace so i highly highly recommend it um now i'm going to just apply this lace down and start the melting process but right now you see me messing up because i didn't let the glue dry enough you want to let it dry for about two to three minutes so that it can get tacky it's going to turn clear when it turns turns clear that's when you lay your lace other than that you're gonna have the problem that you're gonna see me have to face after this clip I went ahead and cut the excess lace off because to me with the five by five closures it makes um this process so much more easier and it makes the 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 melt seamless if you get what I'm saying so cut off the excess lace and then go ahead and pull the wig where you want it to lay and once you do that then you can start to slightly press the lace into your scalp and i'm just trying to make sure that this wig is on my head properly take your comb and press it in and this is really how you get that milk you don't want to use your fingers in this process because your fingers have oil in it and your that oil is going to get on the glue and it's going to give you that white looking look and you don't want that child that is not what you want so use the comb press it in be firm with it and then you're gonna take um whatever if you got something loose take a little bit more adhesive and put it down and you can do this while it's wet because at this point you about to get ready to take an elastic band or if you don't have an elastic band you can use a scarf and you're about to melt it down let that sit for about I would say usually 10 to 20 minutes is good, but if you can let it sit longer, then let it sit longer. I was using that Big Sexy Red um, hairspray because I didn't have no Gots to Be spray, and I really just let it sit. And when I come back, girl, y'all gonna be graced with the milk, but it's gonna look a freaking fool. So <laughs> when I take this scarf off, you're gonna see how I actually got the glue on my makeup so i'm gonna have to peel the makeup off don't be alarmed if this happened you can still have that melty seamless look just take the end of your red tail comb comb the little pieces out the hair that's stuck to your head and scrape that glue off use some alcohol um but don't use a lot of alcohol because you don't want to lift the lace back up but use a little bit of alcohol and it'll come right up 
and boom, she melted. So now I'm going to just go ahead and start my part. Make sure if you don't have an electric hot comb like I do, make sure your hot comb is already warming up because that's the only way you're going to get this to lay down. I don't know how we used to do our hair back in the day without no hot comb because I'm pretty sure that's why that shit used to be looking like a cone head on top of our head. But the hot comb is what saves the day, honey. So now I'm taking that crimp that I told y'all about in the beginning of the video and I'm just going to crimp all the way around spray a little bit of holding spray the spray i really like to use is the tresemme the number four so if y'all go by that that's the one that i really like to use because it gets a little firm but not too hard and it still gives you that effortlessly like flowy type of hair so um i didn't spray too much of this big sexy red because that shit will like hold it down so the hot comb, like I said, is very essential. This is what's going to give you that seamless lay. This is what's going to give you that melted look. And I'm pretty much um, going to finish crimping. And then we're going to move on to the baby hairs because I know that's what you guys came here for. So I'll explain that in a minute. Okay, so let's get started on these baby hairs. So you guys know the shorter you cut the baby hair, the more natural the baby hairs are going to look. It took me a minute to um, get this method, but I'm going to be using Nairobi foaming mousse, whatever the crap it's called. This is my favorite mousse. Y'all know it doesn't get all extra hard. You can literally comb it out and it's going to give you that feathery type look. But these baby hairs, I wanted to stay in place. So I use the Nairobi because it helps me shape it. And I'm basically just using this little swooping method, cutting the little pieces that I need to be cut. Um, and I'm making the middle part shorter than I'm making the edges. And that's what's going to give that little exotic look. So take your time doing this. You don't want to rush this process because that's how your baby hairs come out looking a mess. You really want to just take your time and do it to your liking. Um, when I finished with the Nairobi, I went over it a little bit. I put a little bit of the Gossipy glue gel on my hand and I just um, laid it on top of the baby hairs. That way they stay in place all day and I didn't have to worry about them shifting and moving and stuff. But it's pretty self-explanatory. This is pretty much it. After this, I'm going to go in with my hot comb again. And I'm going to um, make the top part of my hair as flat as possible. And that is going to help me get that seamless look. Especially the blended front that goes with the baby hairs. So yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. And you know, stay tuned for the end result. And let me know in the comments what y'all think. y'all right, so this is the finished look thank you guys so much for watching i tried to be a little more exaggerate or oh, <laughs> exaggerate i tried to be a little bit more extra with my baby hair today let me know down in the comments what you guys think and let me know if you are feeling these crimps baby because i am feeling it hold on let me stand up to show y'all because y'all know i gotta give y'all a good um look at what the length is so this is how this inch falls on me, okay. And yeah, I feel cute. <laughs> she feel cute. Let me know down below. I promise I'm gonna be back with the content, you guys. I'm getting these hair videos out because y'all have been asking, y'all been loving the looks. So like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you on the next one. Breaking any nigga, I be running in they pockets.